guys. Welcome to today's episode of Lottie's Locks. Got three for you today, so let's get right to it. First lock, over 206 and a half, Orlando versus Denver. Okay, this is a prime example of why looking at the over-under trends and basing your bet off of that is not always a good idea. First of all, this is a low number. Now, these guys played about 12 days ago, and the score did finish lower than this number. But it wasn't because of Denver's offense. Orlando was held to just 87 points. Denver put up 112. Orlando should be able to do a better job of scoring on their home floor, where they were held to less than 100 points twice in the entire month of November. Now, this is the second night of a back-to-back for Orlando. The first time, they scored 115. Second time, 102, 109, 131, and then 110. So they've had no problem scoring on the second night of a back-to-back. Meanwhile, the Nuggets haven't been held to less than 106 games and just once in their previous eight. Lock number one, I'm going over 206.5 points, Orlando versus Denver, despite the over-under trends for these two teams. Okay, lock number two, over 229 points, Toronto Raptors versus Philadelphia 76ers. The Raptors are 10-3 and against the under at home this season while the 76ers are 7-4 against the under on the road. Both these two teams are coming off low-scoring games. Actually, the Raptors have had two straight low-scoring games. Even more reason to go over, expect a regression to the mean. It's a tight matchup, so there's a chance it can go to overtime. Philly has gone to overtime four times already this season, while the Raptors have twice. I expect a track meet tonight at the ACC. First lock, second lock, sorry, over 229 points, Toronto Raptors versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Okay, final lock of the day. Minnesota Timberwolves, minus five at home tonight against the Charlotte Hornets. Like lock number one, this is another where you can't just look at the ATS rankings because as the road underdog, the Hornets are five and one against the spread. But this isn't about the Hornets. This is about the T-Wolves, who since the Jimmy Butler trade have been as hot as any team in the NBA, eight and three. These guys love playing with each other. The resident T-Wolves are playing with a chip on their shoulder. They want to prove Butler wrong. The new pieces from Philly have fit in perfectly and are also playing with something to prove. By the way, Sleeper Defensive Player of the Year award winner, Robert Covington. You heard it here first. So don't worry about the ATS numbers. This is about the Minnesota Timberwolves right now versus the Hornets. And the way the Wolves are playing, I don't see them losing at home against the Hornets. I think they cover the spread easily. Lock number three and final lock today, Minnesota Timberwolves minus five at home against the Charlotte Hornets. Hope you enjoy the show. Good luck if you're placing any bets tonight and be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Major key alert. I got the keys, keys, keys.